I just snapped. And I, I hit him, he went down. I stepped on his hand, pulled the bar. He still had the bar in his hand. I hit him before I knew it, it was over. He goes by the nickname Big Josh. Joshua Gowker, Joshua Young's father, is now serving a life sentence for murdering his stepson, Trey Zwicker. But Big Josh's criminal record does not stop there. In 2004, Joshua Gowker pleaded guilty to a long list of crimes, fighting with a police officer, robbery, and threatening to use force against a 71-year-old man who gave him a ride home from a bar. The victim survived, and threatening a witness in the case as well. For those and other crimes, he was sentenced to 15 years in prison. With his father in prison and his mother dead of a drug overdose, Joshua Young was put in foster care. After eight years, Gowker was released on parole in 2010. One day out of prison, he told social workers in Louisville that he wanted his son back. Just a few months later, Gowker was able to convince a judge that he should have custody of his son. His foster mother told affiliate WLKY that in court, Gowker was believable. He cried and said all the right things. Two months after Joshua began living with his father, his 14-year-old stepbrother, Trey Zwicker, was found dead. The death remained a mystery for months, but things changed when Gowker's wife, Trey's mother, asked for a protective order, claiming Big Josh hit her and threatened to kill her. She said he pushed and slapped her, then grabbed her by the hair, threw her against the house. Gowker later pleaded guilty to killing the family dog with a baseball bat and the cat by throwing it out the window. He also killed our pets, my innocent son and our innocent pets, small little pets and children. Big Josh took off with his son, first to Indiana, then to Alabama. When police caught up with him, Gowker pinned Trey's murder on his son, and Joshua Young was arrested for beating Trey Zwicker to death, a charge he has adamantly denied. And after more investigation, Gowker was charged with murder as well. When it came time for trial, Gowker changed his story. He said Joshua was not involved, and he acted alone when he killed his stepson. Gowker told the judge he did it because Trey had stole some food and a cigarette lighter from him. But in a TV interview, he said this. Well, his mother aborted my kid, and uh, I tried to let it go, and I couldn't. It's probably the worst thing I've ever did. It is the worst thing I've ever did.